You ever have one of those times where you just completely forget something? <laughs> it seems to be happening more and more to me. So I had two tools that I had completely forgot about uh, referencing in the video that went out this morning. Uh, the first one is a website that I used which has tons of invaluable information. The other one is a home energy monitoring solution that I have and I've had it in place for several years and that was a huge benefit to be able to see current device power usage before I even started looking into going solar so that I could see individual devices and, and how much power each device was using. So let's take a look at the website first and then we'll switch on over to looking at the uh, home monitor. This is not going to be anything uh, fancy, nothing super long, but I just wanted to make sure that I also included these two uh, helpful resources and tools uh, for those that are looking into going solar. DIYSolarForum.com This site is filled with so much information. This is my go-to place. Um, there's so many people on here that are so helpful. Most questions that you can think of have probably already been asked here at some point in time. I typically end up coming here at least once a day and looking at what's new. Um, and I mean, I've, I've been following this, this thread right here, you know, comma neutral. Um, but people talk about uh, BMS questions, battery questions, uh, wiring, solar panels. I mean, you name it, and it's being talked about in here. I mean, we can look right here. How many members are 71,000 members? Uh, 672,000 messages and 52,000 threads. So tons and tons of valuable information here. So here's a look inside my main service panel and you can see uh, down here on the bottom is where the sense monitor is actually sitting right inside the panel and it's being powered by this double pull breaker and then it's got uh, lines running up to the two CTs off of the main lines coming from my meter. It's about all that there is to uh, install on this from a hardware standpoint. Um, I've got the antenna coming out the bottom of the box here because uh, it needs Wi-Fi access to be able to control the sense monitor. But, I mean, really, this is about it. Um, the orange box, the antenna, the power, and then the two CTs up at the top. And, and that's really it to the hardware install. So let's jump over to the app now and look at how the app works. So this isn't going to be a comprehensive look at this Sense Home Monitor because there's just way too much to look at, but just kind of a quick view of... Uh, this tool and and how it's been helpful to me up above you can see you know it's it's going to show me some information on always on items current draw uh, and other items that it hasn't been able to identify yet and overall you can see that it's bouncing between you know 470 480 watts total and down below it's going to give you a breakdown of all of the devices that sense has been able to identify in your home and it somehow can learn based on patterns of, of uh, power usage. And it can somehow identify different devices. And then you have the ability to go through and actually uh, name those devices. And then you can see breakdowns of when those devices turn on. And, and how long they run. Um, you can have a dashboard of, of trending usage. You can program in your power cost, uh, time of use cost. You can see a meter of exactly what's going on. And here's, here's where it really helps me because I can come in here and I can turn devices on and off and I can see what the different draws are every time I turn something on and off. So even if Sense can't identify exactly what it is in here when I turn something on and off, um, I can 
see the power change. And you can come in and each day, week, month, year, or even just the bill, you can see what device used the most power. So my dishwasher, 3.1 kilowatts at 51 cents. Horse trough, 2.5. It's obviously been a warm time. Um, but an invaluable tool. And I know that they have other monitors out there that, uh, like the, I believe it's the Emporia, that actually you have to go through and put a CT on every circuit breaker that you want to monitor, and then you can track everything on that circuit. But it's it's everything on that circuit, uh, not individual devices, where this tries to learn and determine the individual device signatures to be able to tell you, here's how much power this individual device is using. So uh, I've had this in my house for several years now, used it quite a bit, and uh, th this really helped me analyze a lot of the different devices that I was going to try and start moving over to solar because I could see how much power is being used. A lot of different options, so I'll leave a link in the description so that you guys can see uh, what this is and uh, do your own research, see if it'll be something of a benefit to you. And again, if you're not comfortable opening up your uh, breaker box to install one of these, you know, you can obviously hire a electrician it'd probably take them 20 minutes max uh, to get it all installed into the panel and then the rest of it's all configurable through the app okay like i said nothing fancy nothing too long but just wanted to include those two things uh y'all stay safe stay warm and we'll catch up with you later